Here is question number 21. Which among the following is an incomplete poem by P.V. Shelley? Uh, options are here The Tramp of Life, Ode to the West Wind, uh, Queen Map, and The Demon of the World. Your answer is The Triumph of the Life. And uh, this work is incomplete poem by P.V. Shelley. And uh, he wrote it in 1819, but it was left unfinished at the time of his death. 1822. The poem is about the transitory nature of human existence and the ultimate triumph of death over life. Next question is, who said there is, there can be and there ought to be the difference between language of prose and metrical composition? Uh, John Dryden, William Wordsworth, S.T. Coleridge, T.S. Eliot. So, answer is William Wordsworth and as we know, this was, uh, uh, we can say, uh, he wrote this thing and uh, this was the central idea. This idea was central to his influential uh, preface to the lyrical ballads as you know, uh, co-written with Samuel Tyler Coleridge, in which he advocates for a new kind of poetry that was grounded in everyday experience and language. Which of the following is not a part of Amitabh Ghosh's uh, Ibis trilogy, uh, Sea of Poppies, River of smoke, flood of fire and the Calcutta chromosome. Answer is 4, the Calcutta chromosome and here you will see the explanation. The Calcutta chromosome is not a part of Amitabh Ghosh's Ibis trilogy. The Ibis trilogy consists of the novel Sea of Poppies, a River of Smoke and flood, uh, flood of Fire. The Calcutta chromosome is a separate novel by Amitabh Ghosh. Uh, this question is from uh, Indian Writings in English. Which among the following are true about Harold Print, Pinter. So, this is not Pinter, it is Pinter, Harold Pinter. Harold Pinter was born in the year 1925. Uh, he was born in 1930 and he was influenced by Samuel Beckett and the theatre of Absurd. Uh, true. The caretaker and the alchemist are his famous plays. Uh, this is also true. Stanley is a character in the birthday party and uh, uh, for such type of questions, we have made nearly uh, 75 uh, summaries videos there and uh, in, the, in those videos, we have uh, discussed themes and characters and main events of the story uh, just for the sake of such questions. So, you can go through that. Uh, betrayal is a story of married couple. Let us go through the explanation here. Harold Pinter was born in uh, year in the year 1930, not 25. He was heavily influenced by Samuel Beckett and the Theatre of Absurd, and two of his famous plays are Care, The Caretaker and The Alchemist. Stanley is uh, a character in the birthday party, and Betrayal is uh, his play. Which of the following concepts are associated with the Bharathari theory of Sphota? So. It is, it comes from a word sput, okay, remember this and sput means hota hai nikalna in Hindi, to come out, sput means to come out, if you know Hindi, you will, uh, uh, you must know this thing, sput means to come out, okay. Uh, so, ras, alankar, dhvani or vakrokti or sabd brahm. So, it must be related to these two. Let us go through the uh, answer. I uh, will not just guess, I will tell you all the things uh, which are written in explanation. Bharathari's theory of Sputa is uh, associated with the concept of Dhvani, suggestion and Sabda Brahma, the ultimate reality of sound, Ras, uh, aesthetics and Alankar, uh, ornamentation. And Vakrokti, figurative uh, language are related to other literary theories and concepts. So, answer is second. Who is the author of literature of their own? Uh, Sanjay Gilbert and uh, Sujan Guber, Alan Swalter, Virginia Woolf and or uh, last option is Sylvia Plath. So, Alan Swalter is the author of a literature of their own. Here is the explanation. Alan Swalter is the author of a literature of their own British women novelist from Bronte to Lessing. 
It was first published in 1977 and explores the history of British women novelists from the late 18th century to the mid 20th century, discussing the ways in which they were influenced by and contributed to literary tradition. 27th uh, question is The Deserted Village by Oliver Gold Smith. Critics, the rural institutions. So, this question comes from themes. Okay. So, if you are studying uh, English literature works, just go through the themes because some questions will be uh, from theme. Uh, voices revolt, revolt of the individual, men against institutions, uh, reflects upon different views on the human soul, advocates urbanism over rural backwardness. So, answer is to voice. Voices Revolt of the Individual Man Against Institution, the poem The Deserted Village by Oliver Goldsmith critics the rural institution and voices the revolt of the individual man against institution. It depicts the negative if, uh, effects of modernization and progress on traditional rural communities and the displacement of rural people from their homes and traditional ways of life. It does not reflect upon different views on the human soul or advocate the urbanism over rural backwardness. Now, let us come to the match the list and here you will see some works and uh, uh, just we should go through the answers here because this is just uh, you know the uh, matching type of question. Malcolm Bradbury, the history man, David Laws, changing places, Kingsley Amis, Lucky Jim, C. P. Snow, Masters. Under the Net, 1954 is written by John Fowles, Iris uh, Mudrock, Edmund Goes, William Cooper. So, your answer is second, Iris Mudrock. Under the Net, 1954 is a novel written by Iris Mudrock. The novel follows the life of uh, Jack Donegar and Donag, a struggling writer and translator living in London as he navigates through a series of relationships and intellectual pursuits. The novel explores themes of freedom, identity and nature of reality and truth. The novel was well received and established Madra as significant voice in post war, war British literature. Here is the question number 30, who among the following has authored the revenge, revengers tragedy, uh, Cyril Turner, John Webster, John Fletcher. Thomas Haywood. So, answer is first uh, Cyril. Cyril Turner was an English playwright and poet best known for his play The Revengers Tra Tragedy. He lived during the late 16th and early 17th century war and was associated with the Jacobian era of English literature. He was a contemporary of other notable playwrights of the time such as William Shakespeare and Christopher Marlowe. We will complete some more questions uh, in next video. Uh, till then, goodbye, take care.